going on y'all JT here with uh, another run of the Creighton 4S and I am running a 4S LiPo in it I think I might have to tighten my slipper clutch up some so I've been running the Hades out this truck um, but I'm in a, a larger area where I can kind of open it up a little more show you guys how this thing performs out here and do some wheelies <laughs> not gonna be a very long video because I've been running and my battery's probably close to being dead so so I'm curious to get this thing out and um, there we go it's almost running almost keeping a wheelie off-road uh, and running this on a ooh well <laughs> I didn't see that I thought I was gonna get up there but uh, I guess not <laughs> I hit that dead on I was trying to uh, basically keep going full speed and I didn't pay attention to that down there you guys see how that's about two or three inches off <laughs> so that actually, that even startled me <laughs> So anyway, um, what I was trying to say was I am looking forward to getting this out on Super Speed Saturday to see what kind of speeds we get. I'm trying to watch that area too as I drive. But that that's a, that survived a head-on collision, I believe. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's fine. Probably one of the things you guys may do for this once you get it is you may be getting a wider bumper for it. I'm pretty sure T-Bone Racing is looking at this thing right now and they'll come out with some uh, some upgrades and updates for us. <laughs> you know, they'll always come out with um, willy bars and they also come out, they're good at doing front bumpers too. So. Actually, I may, have, may not have to adjust the slipper clutch too much. Yeah, we're going to take it slow this time. This little bump right here. We're going to go over. We're going to... There we go. <laughs> That's the effect I was trying to do without hitting it head on. All right, let's take it over here real quick. So as of right now, this is the closest I will get to a beach. Uh, this... So you guys can see how this performs. Okay, I keep hitting stuff now. I'm not trying to run into stuff. That's the funny part. Now, you guys are asking about the temperature and stuff, probably. Um, the motor was warm after I ran it. I ran a 3S and a 4S kind of back-to-back. -back. Uh, and I didn't have my temp gun with me. What I'll do is next time I run this back-to-back... Um, or even just run it on 4S like this, I'll bring my temp gun with me. You know, to see what kind of temperatures we're getting. Pretty sure it's going to be fine. I mean, Arma's really good at gearing their cars right. And you guys know they put a fan on the heat sink that's over the motor. So they really made sure you're not getting um, any heating issues or anything. Yeah, my battery's starting to down, so I can see the performance dropping just a little bit. Alright guys, that is another run of this, part two. <laughs> uh, I'll get out of course running some more, uh, do some speed runs, take it to the skate park as well. Um, and show you guys what this thing can do and how well it jumps. We'll get some ramps out as well and get the truggy and stuff out um, and run it against that as well. So, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.
Uh, quero baixar para sul. <risos> Trying to find that perfect balance in throttle control and doing the a willy and, and riding it. We'll get it. We'll get it. <laughs> 